let's have a conversation, everybody, because this is what I've got. I uh, remember those bones that I got. I processed a couple batches of beef broth, and I'm going to show you something that I found that was quite interesting. Normally, at this point in time, I would tell you to take the rings off, check the sealage, hold them up, and wash them with soap and water, and label them. <clears throat> I still need to label them, but I wanted to show you something else that I found that I thought was actually really interesting. So you know me, I'm always testing something, and this time I decided since I had so many beef bones, I wanted to test making them instant pot versus stovetop. Now, I did all of the bones exactly the same, roasted them all on the, on the trays exactly the same, put the same amount of bones in each pot, set them on the stove and started this stove at the same time I started the Instant Pot and, the in and stopped this one at the same time the Instant Pot stopped. So, just so you know, same thing. I also, after I made the beef broth, canned them up in the same pressure canner at, for the same amount of time. So even that process was exactly the same. But this is what we have. This is the Instant Pot broth. This is the stovetop broth. Let me put them down so you can actually see their color differences because, oh, there's a difference. Can you tell which one is the Instant Pot and which one's the stovetop? This one is the Instant Pot and this one right here is the stovetop. For me, usually when I am doing beef broth or any kind of a broth, I do it in the winter because I want to use that heat to gently warm up my house. It works quite well, so I'm not wasting electricity by heating my house in the middle of summer when it's already too hot. Well, I live on the coast, so it's not usually too hot. But this is what you get on a stovetop. Now, the other thing is, is I got twice as much from the stovetop as I did from the Instant Pot. So there's that. So when you do it on the stovetop, you get a richer flavor and color. You get an actual, you get twice as much more than you do when you're doing something in the Instant Pot. So technology is not always better. There you go. That's the lesson for today. I'm going to label these and get going on with my chores. You guys have a great day out there. Now you know what I know. Don't forget to label.